Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're actually going to be talking about plotting. Specifically, we're going to talk about the first step in plotting and choosing the plot size, or the k-size to plot. Now there's two reasons why I haven't talked about plotting in my previous videos, and the first one being is that every machine is different, and so therefore it's hard to give general advice that applies to everyone. However, there are tools that we can build in order to analyze a machine and decide from there, you know, which plot size we should do, how many plots in parallel, etc. But and the second reason why I haven't talked about plotting is because I personally do not have the hardware to do any type of efficient plotting since my SSD is so small. It can only plot one plot at a time. However, I do want to help those that can plot more than one at a time. And the first choice that you have to make is choosing the plot size that you want to plot. So the default is K32 or about 100 gigabytes. But why would you choose any of these ones that are larger, like the K33 or the K35? Now, there is some confusion on what these other plot sizes do. And the, if you look at the wiki, you can actually get a definite answer of why you would plot bigger. So there's a frequent asked question, what K size should you plot? And the reason, the only reason that they give is so that you can optimize the total utilization of a given drive or space. So the only reason why you would plot bigger is so that at the end of plotting, your drive will have the least amount of space possible. However, it can be quite difficult to figure out the perfect combination of different K plots that will maximize the, the space uh, utilized. Now you may be wondering why the default uh, size or the minimum size is K32 or about 100 gigabytes. And the reason is, is you know, the smaller plot size that they had in the past, like K30 or K31, were, were ruled out because they want to have it take a certain amount of time for you to plot. So they want a plot to at least be an hour long to create and at least 10 minutes in the first phase. Now. The reason for this is very technical, but it will prevent certain types of attacks on the network. And um, the way they decide this is kind of with Moore's Law. So Moore's Law basically says that you know at every two years, the number uh, or the speed of processors about doubles while the cost of them also shrinks. So you know, 10 years from now, the hardware that people have will allow them to surpass this minimal requirement, which is why K32 plots will, might become obsolete within 10 years. So now that we know that the only reason why you might plot larger than K32 is to optimize the total utilization of a given space, how do you figure out the optimized number of each K plot to plot? And you have the enough uh, temporary space, for, let's say for a K34, which requires one terabyte. Well, you have to iterate through every possibility um, to figure out the perfect number of each plot. Now, I have created a tool to do this in PowerShell, and you can actually install this tool directly in PowerShell. So open up PowerShell as admin. So type in PowerShell into Cortana, right-click it, and click Run as Admin. Next, you'll want to install the module. So you type out install-module do dash repository and type out PES gallery. Now this is Microsoft's uh, hosted gallery for modules and then you're going to want to type out the module that you want to install by doing dash name and this module is called PS Chia Plotter. Now I already have this module installed so it's not going to return anything. However, you might see a progress bar at the top as it installs. Now once it's installed, you can just simply type out git chia k and then do tab and it should tab complete to k plot combination now there's two parameters for this you can give it a certain amount of free space and the uh, the number that you want to give it is the total number of bytes not gigabytes not megabytes just the total number of bytes and it will calculate every possibility and give you the best po or give you all the possibilities sorted from best to worst the next parameter that you can use is drive letters. So let's say that you just want to get your C drive. Well, we'll calculate all the possibility for your C drive. So there's only one possibility for mine since it's a pretty small uh, drive. And that's just to plot 1K32 and, and the remaining space will be 53 gigabytes. However, I have more than just my C drive. As you can see, if I open up File Explorer, I have many drives. However, most of these are filled up already so there won't be many different optimizations that we can do. Now, by default, if you just run it without any parameters, it will default to 
looking at all the volumes on your computer and calculating the best possibility for each one. So if I just click enter, it will calculate one for each volume with uh, giving you the friendly name and the drive letter. However, it does put it out in a list, which can be kind of hard to read. Since we want it in an easy and digestible manner, we want to do a table. Now this will be fixed in a future release, but for now, you're going to have to pipe it to something called format table. So you type out format dash table. And here you can quickly see which volumes you can plot with the best combination. Now for most of mine, I only have about one K32 space left, or in this case, a K33 and a K32. So this case for my plotter, you know, which obviously I'm not going to put any, any plots on it quite yet. I have two different possibilities. You know, I could either put one K33 and one or and one K32, or I could put three K32s. If I do three K32s, I'll have 12 gigabytes left over. However, if I do one 33 and one 32, I'll have half that space left over at six gigabytes. So you can see by using this tool, you can, you know, essentially increase the um, plot size of your entire farm, which will increase the number of proofs that you store that could be valid proofs. Now, there is a tool online that, uh, that also does this called Chia Plot Plan, and I'll post this in the description. Is it, and this essentially does the exact same thing. However, I have noticed that my tool seems to be iterating through more options, giving you uh, more choices uh, and possibly a better alternatives. However, this will pretty much work for all intents and purposes. You know, if I do 1,000 uh, gigabytes, which is about one terabyte, you know, it gives you a 99.92% optimization, which that's pretty much good enough. However, the benefit of my tool is it'll automatically grab each volume on your computer and run this against it. So you don't have to go look up the total number of bytes on your computer, you know, and enter it in, in, it in. Now I have plotted my entire farm with only K32s, you know, simply because that's the only choice I have with the uh, NVMe that I have. However, let's go ahead and scan my drives with the total space and see what would have been a more optimized solution. So let me clear the screen real fast. Okay, so if you run get volume, you can actually see all the uh, pretty much all the volumes that are on your computer and here you can see that I actually have three volumes that equal about two terabytes now I plot these with all k32s however let's see um, if we get the total size of these volumes and running against my tool what would have been the optimized version of this so let's go ahead and clear the screen and let's get let's say drive letter E so and let's store that in a variable called E so let's do get volume dash drive letter and do E and we can see that we have this now E has a property called size and this gives you the total number of bytes and we can now put this into my tool that I use so get Chia K uh, plot combination and we can do free space and then do the dollar sign E and then size and now iterate, iterate through all the possible combinations let's go ahead and do this again but do it with uh, format table and here we can see all the possible combinations so the top combination that would leave us with the least amount of gigabytes left over at 1.6 is 1k34 2k33 and then 10k32s however if you don't have enough space to do k34 it'll give you the next one which is 6k33s and 6k32s and that's just pretty much just as good as the one above it at 1.8 gigabytes however Let's look at the one where it's only K32. So this is 18 and you're left with 37 gigabytes. Now that's about 36 extra gigabytes that you could have plotted for Chia. Now, you know, if you multiply this across all your different drives, this could add up to, you know, quite a few plots. So this tool is pretty useful to answer the first question in this, choosing the plot size. Now the next topic or the next option that you want to look at is choosing the number of plots, specifically the number of plots you want to plot in parallel. However, there are so many variables that go into this that, you know, requires a lot more analyzation of your uh, hardware to give you the optimized uh, option to, for plotting. And not only that is, you know, even machines with the same hardware 
can perform differently depending on what software they already have installed, et cetera. So I will be creating new uh, tools to add to this module. Currently, this is the only tool in this module. Um, and I, as I add them, I'll also upload videos explaining how to use each one and what they're doing to kind of help you answer the question and give you the best you know, starting point because it's really trial, trial and error even with the tools available. So in the future videos, I will be trying to answer the number of plots, you know, how, many, how long the delay between each uh, parallel plot you will be starting, and also scripts that will allow you to do, to do this in the command line rather than using the GUI. Now, what's the benefit of that? Well, one benefit is sometimes you do have to restart the GUI for reasons other than plotting. Um, and if, if you restart the GUI, how it, it you know, stops your plots. And at this time, you cannot restart those plots. You have to go in and delete the pl plot files and then start all over again. So that's one benefit of plotting in the command line versus the GUI. Now, if you want me to go over how the tool works exactly, I can go over that in another video. However, it does seem to be working as expected, and also it really has no dependencies other than requiring to be run on Windows. It won't work if you install PowerShell on Ubuntu or anything like that. Um, I do hope that this tool helps people kind of answer, you know, which plot size and how many of each for the given space. I do plan to make this particular tool a little bit more useful where it kind of allows you to input the uh, plotter size that you have or the SSD that you have that you are plotting with and kind of filter out the uh, plot size that you can't plot based on the temporary space. So um, whenever you do in decide to install this tool, I would go ahead and run, um, let me go back to PowerShell, and I would run help, then get Chia K. And this will give you the help file, um, but specifically it'll give you the parameters that can be used with it. So you can see that there's two different parameters, drive letter and free space. And if I add to it, there could be more parameters uh, in the future. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And until next time, bye.